at shop.tcm.com and Barnes & Noble DVD locations. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Our evening with Star of the Month, June Allison, moves on now with one of my all-time favorite musicals, movie guaranteed to make you just feel better. There's no deep thinking required, just a chance to sit back and take in its unadulterated joy. The movie is MGM's 1947 version of Good News, starring Peter Lawford as a college football hero who's failing in French, and June Allison as a girl who's working her way through college and tutors him so he can pass the exams and play in the big game. And of course, it's not long before they're conjugating something much more than just verbs. Simple story, yes, and a familiar one, which had first been done on the Broadway boards way back in the 1920s. Then it became an MGM musical in the early days of talking pictures in 1930. Well, to add some new vitality and fresh paint to this latest incarnation, Technicolor was added. And so were the witty and sophisticated Betty Condon and Adolf Green. They were hired to add their own wit and sense of fun to the script, as well as compose a new song called The French Lesson, which they wrote with Roger Edens. And there's also a new bouncy number called Pass That Peace Pipe by Roger Edens, Hugh Martin, and Ralph Lane. Those treats joined several classic songs from the original score, like The Best Things in Life Are Free, Lucky in Love, and the big showstopper, The Varsity Drag, all by Ray Henderson, Lou Brown, and Buddy De Silva. Now, most of these college kids look like they, they should have graduated quite a while ago. June Allison was actually 30 or thereabouts when she made good news, and Peter Lawford was 24. At least co-star Mel Torme was 22, a little closer to college age. But trust me, there's so much fun and music and snappy dancing going on at dear old Tate College to worry about how old the majority of these college students are. So here also with dancing man Ray McDonald, and Broadway star Joan McCracken, and maybe the biggest asset of all, musical arrangements by the great Kay Thompson. I mean, you'll never hear more definitive examples of Kay Thompson's unique vocal arrangements than are in this movie. And they start immediately after Leo the Lion growls at the very beginning. So here, produced by Arthur Freed, directed by Chuck Walters, the 1947 version of Good News.